My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com is the place for your tips and tricks, so let's go ahead and add another one to it. This time, we're going to jump back into Google Sheets and I'm going to show you how you can use your available data and turn it into a different looking table using something called Pivot Tables. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have my raw data and this is the student name, year group, house, and their teacher. I want to turn this into a different looking table and visualize this data in a completely different way. So let's go ahead and create our pivot table. First, I'm going to select the available data I'd like to use. Now what's important is that you do not forget those headers. So here, student name, year, house, and teacher. Those will be important. Next, we're going to go to insert. So at the top, we select insert and then pivot table. This will now ask me, do you want to create a new sheet or put it into the existing sheet? I'm going to create a new sheet for this one. Now let's say that you've selected the wrong range. You can always click on this button here to select a different data range. Let's go ahead and click on create. Here we are now in our pivot table editor, and this allows me to select how my data is presented. So for example, the rows and the columns, let's start by instead of having the student names in rows, let's put those students in columns. So let's go to the columns, click on add and select student name. We now have different columns for those students. You can see that here we have all our students and they all have their own column. We can also add some rows. Let's go ahead and add a row. Let's have a look at their teachers. There we go, we now have our teachers in those rows. So you can see we have the two teachers here. Well, let's count. Let's see how often that we see this teacher teaching each student. Well, let's go ahead and add a value. We're going to add the value of the teacher. Here you can see Hector Santos has one bookie. John Smith has one city. And this is how you can now tally up different data to present it visually in a completely different way. You can see here in sheet one, all we had was our rows with our students. Well, now we have completely transformed what this data looks like. And these are the basics of a pivot table. I hope you found this helpful. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Don't forget to visit us at appsevents.com for more tips and tricks and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of our latest videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.